Hi guys, welcome to the Mesquite Melt Workshop, Mitch. Um, gonna go over tonight the uh, cicadas that I might as well have a video of. So uh, you open up your uh, cicada package from Iowa Scaled Engineering and uh, the cicada's right in there. And if you touch him and play with him a little bit, he'll start to make some noise. And uh, so what you do is you simply take the cicada and uh, due to the heat they generate with their legs going back and forth, uh, I found that uh, Captain Tape works best because it uh, handles the heat and you just go in up underneath the layout. No, I'm just kidding. Sorry, I uh, had this all done and my son like goes, there's a cicada right outside. I said, okay, fine, bring him in here. Uh, no cicadas will be harmed in the making of this video. We will release him shortly. So this is what the cicada looks like when it comes from Iowa Scale and Engineering. It's all, somehow they managed to squeeze this guy into this box. I don't know how they do it. It's magic. That's what they get paid for. They do put a little sticker on the outside to uh, remind you of what's on the inside. So that's nice. Um, so I was skilled engineering makes a bunch of different products and this little sound bite line is really starting to take off. They also do a bunch of different crossing bells, which is awesome because they keep adding more bells all the time. So if you're stuck in the 80s like I am, that's great because we actually get some cool old stuff instead of all this electronic fake stuff. So cicadas are kind of like salt. Um, a little bit of cicada goes a long way before you get overwhelmed with it. So there is this little um, controller right here for the sound. So I want to tell you that you'll end up playing with it two or three times uh, before you get it to where it's a happy size and you're not just beating your head up against the wall. On the electrical side of this, it's really, really difficult. There are three wires that come from this little plug and that makes all the magic happen. Salt, pepper, and ketchup are your wire colors. And so the um, red is your power supply, the black is your ground, and the white is your activation. So I made this high scale technical drawing so that um, everybody can kind of see what, how I did mine. So if you remember back in the gold days of everybody having a cell phone and there were 497 different thousand um, wall warts that we all have somewhere in the drawer. Um, I tend to collect those from people because they're free. Um, they work a really long time. And when one of them finally does burn out, which I haven't had one do yet in 10 years, um, I still have a drawer more full of uh, more free parts. You can use like a Digitrax uh, wall ward or something like that also. But basically, you're going to connect that to your red, and it's 5 to 24 volts in DC power. Your black, I ran down to my switch, and then also ran back to the sound bite. And then my white, I ran through a optical eye to the switch. So I can turn the bugs on or off. And then once I turn the bugs on, the eye is going to do the majority of the activation. Um, it will, every now and then, it will activate all on its own, but um, that's the easiest way to kind of explain it. And for more detailed information, you can go to iascaled.com. iowascaled.com is what the IA stands for. And uh, just go to All Model Railroad and then go to Sound Bites and then you'll see them. Uh, but you'll also see all their selection of crossing bells. They just came out with a wheel flange module and this weekend I had this great idea of maybe they need to make a diamond uh, crossing if they figure out how to match the speed to your train. Um, that's what they get paid to do. So um, maybe they make that magic happen also. So iascale.com gives you all your information. I will also be putting up their technical drawing on this video. Y'all go out and have a great day. Enjoy your week and enjoy the world's greatest hobby. From the Mesquite Mount, we'll see you later.